coming up. The King Ranch has a history of innovation. The American Red makes up the genetic base of our 24,000 plus commercial females. What we feel like gives us the best opportunity to have the most efficient cow-calf operation and the best feeder and carcass quality animal. Red Angus raises the bar with a high yield, heat tolerant breed collaboration. Next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. The Red Angus Association of America is well known for raising the bar of profitability for commercial cattlemen nationwide. On today's show, the Red Angus Association announces a brand new breed collaboration that promises to raise the bar even higher. This program has already proven itself on the famous King Ranch. The King Ranch is a multi-generational operation that owes much of its success to developing innovative solutions for raising cattle in a harsh environment. Key to the collaboration are Red Angus females, which have time and again proven their potency as reliable money makers for the American beef industry. So one of the privileges of my job on the commercial marketing team at Red Angus is I get to travel the country and, and view ranchers' operations. The female is the most important product that they're producing. They're all trying to find a cow that fits their environment, and each of those environments has, a, has unique things that are critical problems in those areas. One thing that's not unique is that the Red Angus female will thrive in those areas no matter where we are in the country. The Red Angus female is extremely popular around the U.S. beef industry, and for good reason. Red Angus females are highly fertile. They breed at a young age. That's early puberty, which is important to everybody. You want to have a female that calves early in the calving season and rebreeds. A female that has the right amount of milk and mature size, and yet is a productive female that can wean a very good calf, a marketable calf, and that's what the Red Angus female does. And she's very popular around the industry because of that. We call the Red Angus female the most favored in the industry, and the reason is because they can outsell just about any other female of any breed. We see that over and over. In fact, many times, those Red Angus heifer calves will bring as much as their steer mates, and that's because they make such great replacement females. We've been looking at data that's compiled by Kansas State University from Superior Livestock Auctions, working with Merck Animal Health. With Red Angus Association, we've, we've been uh, particularly interested in looking at uh, the effects of breed, the effects of genetics on sale price of calves, but we've also looked at a number of other factors as well. And uh, in, in the analysis, we've shown uh, benefits to Red Angus feeder cattle and especially the value of the female, the Red Angus female. That's been pretty clear in the analysis we've actually done. The other trend we've seen uh, is we started, we've been doing sire breed analysis and the trend for growth in the Red Angus breed is clearly uh, in the data. We see that as well. The Kansas State University database project recently expanded to track the benefits of heterosis. In 2018, we have started to assign a heterosis score to all lots of beef calves that we know the dam breed and the sire breed that we can show some additional value to heterosis independent of the breed combination. The heterosis score addition to the database is just one more way that Red Angus females prove their value with commercial producers. Crossbreeding has always been an important part of, of the Red Angus model. Uh, we feel like the Red Angus females is a common denominator in a lot of planned crossbreeding systems. Commercial ranchers see the value in those females and what they bring maternally, what they bring in stability and, and the ability for early puberty and, and early breed up. Uh, those traits really set that female apart, especially in a managed crossbreeding system. We've seen a real value in those Red Angus females. We see that value uh, 7 to $12 a hundredweight over any other breed sire type on a heifer calf. 
Uh, when we look at eight years worth of data of bred heifers, we see that they have a hundred dollar advantage over the next closest breed sire type. And when we look at seven years of cow data, we find that they have $200 advantage over any other breed sire type. So what we see is that Red Angus female increases value at every stage of, of her development. Uh, and we see that the industry appreciates that by showing that with their dollars. Coming up. To make the most profitable animal we can for our production environment, we understand we have to capitalize on the value of heterosis. The Red Angus female plays a valuable role in a brand new breed partnership with the Red Angus Association of America. After the break, we're at the King Ranch to learn about this promising new program. Stay with us. Reproductive success is critical in every profitable cow-calf operation. That's why you need effective, easy breeding with Vitafirm ConceptAid. High concentrations of organic trace minerals and vitamin E found in ConceptAid will ensure more of your cows breed back faster. Plus, you'll be giving your herd the Amifirm advantage, leading to healthier, heavier, more uniform calves at weaning. Vitafirm ConceptAid. Effective, easy breeding. Take control of current market conditions on Superior Livestock's weekly video auction. Register your lot load cattle by Tuesday. Sell them on Thursday. Putting you two days from money with the largest cattle marketing network in North America. Superior Livestock's weekly video auction has over 8,000 active and qualified buyers, and they're paying top dollar. Yep. Jump in. The bidding is hot. Call us or click SuperiorLivestock.com to learn more. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Established in 1853, the King Ranch in Kingsville is the largest in Texas. With a rich and storied history, the King Ranch is considered to be one of the most successful cattle operations in the history of the American cattle industry. The real legacy of King Ranch is that it's bigger than any one generation and the family understands that the ranches have to be managed in such a way to be economically and ecologically sustainable. So every decision we make has to have a payback, either a financial payback, an ecological payback, or a greater good payback. And so the way we manage our cow-calf operation has to be congruent with our mission and vision statements, which stipulate that we will operate in a profitable manner for multi-generational sustainability and to enhance shareholder value. Innovation on the King Ranch includes extensive genomic tracking. To make the most profitable animal we can for our production environment, we understand we have to capitalize on the value of heterosis. We are DNA testing 100% of our commercial females, as well as all the calves off of our second exposure heifers. We'll feed those calves for individual carcass feed out data that we'll have both parentage and DNA records on. This will not only improve the accuracy of our EPDs, but allow us to take traits like fertility that tend to be lagging indicators and make them leading indicators in improving our prediction capabilities for our fertility on our females at a younger and younger age. The King Ranch is comprised of 825,000 acres in South Texas and swelters for months under extreme heat conditions. Needless to say, it's a very challenging environment to raise cattle, which led the King Ranch to develop the hardy and efficient Santa Gertrudis breed. The Santa Gertrudis breed is predicated on profitability and developing the most profitable cow to fit the South Texas environment. South Texas and the King Ranch in particular has an average summer heat index of over 115 degrees. We have the highest standard deviation of rainfall of any semi-arid subtropical environment in the world. It takes a tremendous cow to be able to operate in that environment. Our pasture sizes average over 12,000 acres with some pastures over 30,000 acres. 
and we have to have a cow that's able to perform in that environment and breed and raise a calf that's able to compete um, with an ever-improving national supply of feeder calves in the feed yard and on the rail. With that in mind, the Red Angus Association of America is pleased to announce a new collaboration with Santa Gertrudis Breeders International. Tested and proven on the King Ranch, this collaboration gives commercial operators a red-hided, heat-tolerant cross that packages together the profit traits that each breed is known for. The program is called American Red. American Red is a new program for the beef industry and it's one that we are absolutely very excited about at the Red Angus Association of America because we believe in crossbreeding. We understand that in the southern portion of the U.S. heat adaptability is very important and so we are partnering with the Santa Gertrudis Breeders International and have formed a commercial program focused on both heifers and steers that will be a combination of Red Angus and Santa Gertrudis. And really, if you think about what those breeds, when they're put together, what they do, it's a combination of quality, maternal traits, and a lot of good value from the Red Angus side and adaptability and growth from the Santa Gertrudis side. Both breeds have the red hide, which is more favorable in the southern geographies, a black hide tends to heat up faster and so a red hang is a red hide uh, is a little cooler in terms of just out in the sunshine in these hotter climates and so we really look forward to where this program can go we think it's going to be unique in the industry we think it's going to offer producers in the southern third of the country a lot of choices in how they might mate those females if they go back in the cow herd with an american red animal and we see a lot of flexibility there and we see a great combination of adaptability, productivity, and quality. It'll be a tagging program and it's going to combine adaptability, longevity, positive growth traits, maternal traits, and carcass quality traits into a very unique red-hided genetic package that will fit well in those production areas that are environmentally challenging. Center Gertrudis Breeders International is excited to uh, join with uh, an association, a beef breed association like Red Angus Association that is very uh, progressive, a very innovative uh, association, and one that shares Center Gertrudis' philosophy of data-driven and profit-proven. The Red Angus Association has been around for a long time and had that focus for many years. And so it's, it's great to work with a partner in SGBI that really has the same philosophy. And that's just one of the reasons really we're as excited as we are about American Red. Senator Gertrudis Breeders International was the first uh, beef breed to implement single step methodology for incorporating DNA into our genetic evaluation. And in turn, we were the first Boss Indicus breed to offer our members and our customers genomic enhanced DPDs. This aggressive approach, this early adoption of these exciting genetic tools have certainly uh, caught the attention of the commercial industry. Red Angus emphasizes the value of longevity, stability, and it packages those profitable or economically relevant traits into a uh, red-hided, heat-tolerant package that's going to fit well in those challenging environmental areas. And then we add in the heterosis boost that producers are going to witness. The potential for American Red, in my opinion, is just unlimited. You know, we look at the positive traits that both breeds bring to the table. This is just a fabulous cross for the commercial industry. And we see it being a great product for an American cow herd that's certainly lacking with some heterosis. The potential for American Red is, I think, unlimited, both in the United States and our southern geographies where adaptability to a hotter climate is very important and you still need though quality and a good cow and that's why it makes so much sense but also even internationally and so 
I think what you'll see as time goes on, the American red will get stronger in the southern part of the U.S. and also we'll start to see those cattle exported to other hot climates, a tropical kind of climates around the world, which really have the same need. So the Santa Gertrudis and Red Angus complement one another. Santa Gertrudis are inherently um, efficient animals that fit our South Texas environment and the Red Angus brings to the table maternal traits and carcass traits blended together make the optimal cow for our environment that can compete on a national level for feeder and carcass quality. The American Red makes up the genetic base of our 24,000 plus commercial females. It's a program that we're very committed to. We feel like it's, it's the best fit for our production model. Um, the King Ranch production model is predicated on profitability and the American Red is what we feel like gives us the best opportunity to have the most efficient cow-calf operation and the best feeder and carcass quality animal. Up next. It's an animal that fits the cow-calf operation in their production environment but allows them to compete better on the feeder calf level. American Red feeder calves have an opportunity to earn extra premiums on sale day. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. The Superior Country Page is your 24-7 marketplace for buying and selling load lock calves, feeders, breeding stock, and other cattle. Cattle ranchers like the country page because it's easy to use and they get the jump on current market conditions by putting cattle in front of buyers right now. Cattle are ready for sale in minutes so buyers can start bidding. Call or log on today to find out how the Superior Country page can work for you. Hi, I'm Bob McLaren with 44 Farms. We have a new program with Walmart called Prime Pursuits which brings together great Angus producers from around the United States together to provide great beef for the consumer. Producers all around the country, we would love for you to, to join us in this great pursuit. So please give us a call. We would love to talk to you about the specifics of this great new program. Thank you. Superior Livestock Auction now offers a monthly Holstein steer and dairy video auction. With the largest number of registered and active buyers in the nation, Superior Livestock Auction is your source for lightweight dairy influence calves. Sellers enjoy proven price discovery that pays top dollar. Buyers get access to high volume and steady supply. And everyone appreciates Superior's trusted experience in national livestock marketing. Go online at superiorlivestock.com to register and to find out more. Welcome back to the American Rancher. The American Red program creates heat tolerant females that are ideal for the southern U.S. beef industry. And commercial cow-calf operators who use American Red genetics have an opportunity to realize excellent premiums for their feeder calves on sale day. The American Red program is, is very exciting because it really is all about the commercial producer. And, and that's what we, what we see happening with American Red is we are, we are putting two breeds together that complement each other in a very significant way. Heat adaptability and a breed that has been developed with Santa Gertrudis being developed in the southern part of the industry. And then Red Angus who also of course has the red hide but has been developed around the cow, the female fertility, productivity quality in terms of marbling and carcass traits, uh, good udder traits, and, and uh, really a moderate sized female. So we, we put those ingredients together. What you have is a product for the commercial producer that can just simply make them more profitable in the challenging environments of the southern United States. So I think the American Red offers something to the industry that's very valuable, particularly throughout the southeast. It's an animal that fits the cow-calf operation in their production environment, but allows them to compete better on the feeder calf level. And commercial producers using American Red Genetics will have the option to enroll their feeder calves in the new American Red Tagging Program, similar to the well-established and profitable Red Angus FCCP Tag Program. 
The Red Angus Association of America has a long-standing tradition of not only servicing our members, but also our commercial cattlemen using Red Angus genetics. The Red Angus marketing team continues to develop programs designed to add value to Red Angus influence camps. We offer the industry's most experienced genetic agent source verification program called the Feeder Calf Certification Program, or better known as the Red Angus Yellow Tag. More cattlemen are utilizing the FCCP tag than ever before to garner Red Angus premiums. This past fiscal year, the program enrolled over 210,000 head and experienced an 8% growth increase compared to the previous year. This growth is not surprising, considering the tremendous return on investment that producers are experiencing with this no enrollment fee 99 cent tag program. Recently, research has shown that FCCP tag calves garner a $2.98 premium per hundredweight compared to a non-tagged Red Angus influence calf. This calculates to an $18 advantage per head on a six weight calf. This equates to a $1,430 difference on a potload of FCCP tag calves compared to a potload of non-tagged Red Angus calves. With premiums like this, commercial producers should waste no time enrolling in the program. To enroll, call the Red Angus office and complete a short supplier enrollment question and answer session over the phone to verify that you qualify for the program. Once qualified, tags are shipped directly to the producer where the calves are tagged prior to them leaving the ranch of origin. We have the option of either a 99 cent dangle tag, $2 EID only, or a $3 dangle EID combo set. The next step is to fill out the customer enrollment agreement and provide some basic calving records. You'll send this document in along with a copy of the first page of your calving book. Once this has been received, Red Angus will then issue your certificate of compliance, which is the document that buyers are looking for to verify your calf crop in the program. Alternatively, the Red Angus Association offers the Allied Access Tag, which carries the age and source verification benefits of the FCCP program without the genetic requirements. This program is designed for producers utilizing a planned crossbreeding program and has the same easy enrollment process as the feeder calf certification program. Both of these options are ways that the Red Angus Association continues to serve our commercial producers and help add value to their calf crop. Find out more on our website at www.redangus.org. Well, I'm CJ Blue. Uh, I operate uh, in partnership with my younger brother and my wife and three kids, a Blue Partnership. Uh, we're from Castleton, Kansas and South Central Kansas. I started using the FCCP tag program really early on. Um, we, we started using it because we wanted to add value to our feeder cattle. It was a way for us to get agent source verification. It was a way for us to verify the genetics that were in our cattle. At the time, we were selling our cattle at, at feeder weight, and so um, they were going on the video market. And so we just wanted a way for us to just add, put more bells and whistles and add value to our cattle. As our operation has evolved some, we're retaining ownership uh, today, so everything goes into, the, we, we own the cattle all the way through the feeding phase. And so what we're relying on that program today for more than anything is market access. And so when those cattle are killed, we want to be able to have um, access to a good grid and a way that we can capture that premium again um, to get paid for the genetics we're using. And so we're going to rely heavily on the Red Angus Association to do that for us today and going into the future to develop those relationships and find those um, those market opportunities and get us the market access that we need to, to get the premiums we, we want. I see the value of the FCCP feeder tag for the entire breed really, really again, is raising awareness for the breed. If we can provide the marketplace with the information to, to, to help give them comfort or help them know that those genetics are 50% Red Angus, then I think that provides tremendous value, especially knowing what the breed brings to the table in terms of in-market product and maternal trait. The FCCP TAG program is just one more way the Red Angus Association is actively working to bring more profit to commercial cattle operations nationwide. Now, with the Association's collaboration in the American Red program, 
ranchers have even more opportunity to profit from Red Angus genetics. The Red Angus Association of America is very excited to be working with the Santa Gertrudis breeders because, and we need more of it in our industry, we need more of breeds working together because we can accomplish a lot when we do work together. Breeds that are complementary like Red Angus and Santa Gertrudis, it's just a very natural thing for us to throw in together and help the U.S. commercial producer because that's really what it's all about. And we are very excited to work with the Santa Gertrudis breed and grow the American Red program in the years ahead. To find out more about the Red Angus FCCP tag and the new American Red programs, log on to redangus.org. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Superior.